Storm Track 5 weather team, alerting you to severe weather danger. Partly cloudy skies and a pretty nice morning across the area. As we take a look here from our Holston Mountain camera, nice sunrise out on the eastern horizon there. Temperatures in the upper 50s this morning across the Tri Cities. Pretty nice, pretty dry as well. Check out our radar and satellite picture. One little shower and storm activity here right on the Virginia and North Carolina border near a stationary front that's off the southeast coastline. But around here, we're expecting mainly dry conditions today. Maybe a mountain shower, but I think those should hold off until the afternoon hours. We'll see temperatures in the low 70s at noon. Climbing into the low 80s in the later portion of the afternoon and into the evening, we'll see temperatures falling down once again into the mid 70s before we fall into the 50s tonight. Can't rule out a stray mountain shower today, mostly along the spine of the Appalachians, also towards the Cumberland Mountains. Most of those showers should be relatively weak, shouldn't last too long, but you may get a quick downpour if you caught underneath one of those today. Rain chances from about 20 to 30 percent overall across the region. Temperatures this afternoon. In the low 80s, we're going to go for around 82 in Bristol, Johnson City, 83 in Kingsport. We'll see temperatures across northeast Tennessee, generally in the upper 70s to low 80s with 78 in Mountain City and 81 in Irwin. Southwest Virginia checking in around 80 towards Lebanon and Grundy, but 81 in Avenue and 82 as you head towards Gate City and Nicholsville. All right, let's talk about tonight. Temperatures cooling down into the upper 50s. Maybe near 60 in a few spots across northeast Tennessee, but overall another nice refreshing night across the area with mainly clear skies and temperatures tumbling pretty quickly thanks to those low dew points. Once the sun sets tonight, we should be down to the 60s pretty quickly through the evening. Switching our attention down to Texas, let's talk about Harvey just a little bit more here. Here is the center of the storm right about here, the little eye of the storm. It's now a Category 1 hurricane. You can see the spiral rain bands here on the outer edge of Harvey. These are very strong storms that can sometimes produce isolated tornadoes as these spiral rain bands move in. Most of the time, you get your tornadoes in that right front quadrant. So if you kind of divide the hurricane into four quadrants, it's that right front quadrant where you see the highest threat for any tornadoes and also in those spiral rain bands. The problem with Harvey and the reason we're so worried about flooding in Texas is because it's going to sit here for a few days, kind of wedged in between two areas of high pressure. So the result could be 15 to 30 inches of rain. Most of the time we talk about inches of rain, you know, two feet of rain, folks, could fall across portions of Texas, and that is going to result in some horrific flooding. If you've got family or friends down in Texas, give them a phone call, let them know and see what their plans are and uh, check in on them. And please stress that they do not drive through a flooded roadway. Most people die after hurricanes because they drive into flooded roadways, and it's totally avoidable every single time. All right, let's talk about another little system here that could spin off off the southeast coastline. That stationary front that I mentioned earlier, that's sitting off the southeast coast. A potential system could form along that. Right now, the Hurricane Center giving about 50-50 shot of forming. It would move off the southeast coastline, probably just bringing some increased surf and increased rip current risk to the southeast coast likely not bringing any rainfall to us but we will watch the track of harvey carefully most of the models actually now kind of dissipating harvey after five days of rain over texas and not moving it too much so our forecast may not be changed by that system at all temperatures here staying in the low 80s this work week pretty nice and comfortable with a straight chance for a shower or storm as we go into the weekend here and a better shot for rain coming tuesday through friday with about a 40 to 30 percent chance of rain each day a few isolated thunderstorms not out of the question either